Swarthy Daisy here want to bring you a quick video on how to unlock a device today I'm going to try to unlock my Samsung Galaxy S4 and I bought the code through safeunlockcode.com so, so I got my code today I ordered it Sunday night so it took about a couple of days so I ordered it Sunday today is Tuesday so if you want to get one of these now this for the s4 was $25 but the prices may vary per phone you have to provide your IMEI information on the website and that's how they quote the prices to you so this is the phone that I'm attempting to unlock it's an AO device which AO is no longer in business or in service or I, let's just say they were a part of AT&T, offshoot of AT&T. Then uh, AT&T decided to dissolve them and buy Cricut. So now they are Cricut Wireless. But this is the Galaxy S4. And this is a phone I have several videos back that I got about a year and a half ago through a blogging opportunity. So they let me have the phone as well as some service for reviewing it. So I still have the device. It's mine. But... The problem is the account that the device is registered under is still under the company, so I can't really make account changes. So therefore, I went to safeunlockcode.com to see if I can go ahead and get it unlocked because I would like to use a T-Mobile SIM card in here. It's currently using a um, SIM card by... Um, well, it says AO, but it's now Cricut. It's flashed to Cricut, so... It's locked to Cricut and I want to unlock it so that I can use other SIM cards with this device. First thing I'm going to do is just shut the device off. I'm going to put in this SIM card right here where you see the SIM that's in the SIM tray. It's a, is it a micro SIM? Don't quote me on it, but I think it's a, it's definitely smaller than the AO SIM. So I had to have it placed in a special little tray that I got from Walmart when I got the SIM card for T-Mobile. All right, so now I have the T-Mobile SIM card inserted into the S4. Now I have replaced the battery and the back cover and I'm turning the device on again. Now that the device is back on at the top or when it first turned on there was a little icon and it said invalid sim so that's supposed to be okay so let's go ahead and see if we can get this to unlock so it says sim network unlock pin unlock and dismiss so I'm gonna go ahead and insert or click the um, box here so I tap there and I'm gonna insert the code starting with one six okay so I entered the code the entire code so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine digits so let's go ahead and see if we can unlock this phone here I'm gonna press unlock and there we go it's unlocked to the T-Mobile SIM and of course right now I don't have service on that SIM but the good thing is I'm able to unlock it and not provisioned not sure what that means okay so I looked up the SIM not provisioned MM number two code and what that basically means according to some sources online is that as I know already this phone or this SIM is not currently active to service because it was used with my Note 3. And I um, closed that number. I ported my number to Google um, Voice now. So the SIM is a good SIM. It's just that it doesn't have service on it currently. So that's okay. It's just giving me a little note about that. So at this point, I should be able to insert my T-Mobile SIM. That does have service and it should work. So like I said earlier, um, 
I wanted to unlock this because I had another phone and I removed the SIM and canceled the service. So at this point, it, the SIM is a good SIM. It just does not have service on it. So that does not, that don't let that deter you from unlocking the phone. But at this point, when I want to activate T-Mobile service again, I can just take my SIM, have it activated, stick it into this phone, and it'll work like a charm. Here's another tidbit. I didn't show this part, but when I put my original SIM, the AO slash Cricut SIM back into the phone, I had a notification up top that said no SIM found or something like that. So it was nothing I could do. I kept on, you know, restarting and rebooting the phone, trying to reinsert the SIM. Nothing worked. Went to YouTube and I will link the video below. And there's a video called how to fix no SIM card issues on Android. That helped me to get everything working. I had to go under, I had to put in another code and then go under a um, setting that says something about turn the radio off. I turned it off for about 60 seconds, turned it back on, rebooted the phone, and voila, it works. I made a test call to my husband and everything is good. So I'll link it below just in case that happens to you after you unlock your device and try to reinsert your SIM. Might be in some of the directions that I got from the company, uh, from the unlock code company, but I didn't read that far. I just want to unlock it right away. So anyway, that I hope that helps you guys if you get uh, into a snack. Thanks for watching. Bye.